Welcome to OWF 12's Web TV. We're here with uh, Peter Magnuson, the engineering director of Google uh, California. <laughs> Google App Engine. Google App Engine. In California, yes. <laughs> Hello, Peter. Hi. How are you? Um, I'm great. It's nice to be here in Paris. Great to have you here. So uh, you, uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about the App Engine. So what exactly is this offering? So App Engine is, uh, is what's today called uh, Platform as a Service. It's managed code. Um, so the ambition with App Engine is to make it really, really simple for 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 users to develop uh, applications that that run in the cloud, uh, web web applications, uh, enterprise edge applications, building services, uh, and and the key is to 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 make it simple for developers to to write the code uh, and for Google to handle all of the management of it, providing all the services and running on on the Google data centers, uh, running on the, on the on, on the Google infrastructure. And uh, where where is today uh, the App Engine? What and and what's in the roadmap actually after? Well, so we we launched it in two thousand eight, um, and and we've been investing in it ever since. And last year we 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 did a bit of a relaunch, uh, uh, adding support structures, uh, making it a fully supported um, uh, Google product. And it's 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 had a lot of success in 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 areas uh, uh, such as web applications, games, mobile applications, social. Uh, and what's known as enterprise edge applications, which are enterprise applications that are facing outwards towards lots of cons consumers and customers. And the things they, they, they have in common is, is um, customers who want to develop applications that are, are very scalable, that can reach uh, global, um, uh, a global community. Uh, and in particular, with the new world of applications that are not necessarily built to run on desktops, but are written to run on 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 uh, on pads and on smartphones, where they want a backing storage, uh, a backing facility for for um, uh, doing the backend servicing, and where these companies don't really want to be running their own server farms, and they're starting from scratch, so they enjoy running it on that. Um, the other big category is is enterprise customers that are very attracted by the low cost of ownership. Um, and the general qualities that Google brings to it. Since we're running these applications inside our, s our data centers, inside our infrastructure, we, we bring to the table all the security aspects, the pr uh, privacy controls, um, the reliability, the durability, uh, multiple data center failovers, um, as well as more sort of modern values like greenness. Um, Google is, is fairly unique in having carbon neutral data centers. So if you write your applications on App Engine, then it's automatically um, carbon neutral. And this year, uh, at Google I.O., we were very excited to launch a uh, App Engine Europe. Um, so we now have a European version of, of App Engine that is in the European jurisdiction, data in, in, in Europe. Europe has been uh, extremely uh, successful for App Engine. We have a lot of customers in App Engine in Europe, and they've been putting up with horrible latencies across the Atlantic, so now we have a European service as well. So in terms of US versus Europe, or in terms of adoption of App Engine, how, how does it uh, stack up? Well, um, it's hard to say because it's, it's, y you have to look at out of the potential, but um, you know, if, you, if you take uh, Europe as, 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 as an aggregate, then it's the second largest market after the US. Uh, of course, but it, but it's surprisingly large considering that until until re very recently, uh, it was only there was only a U.S. version of it. So we expect that now with the full launch of of a multi data center uh, uh, app engine Europe, we expect it to to be taking off a lot. And since this forum is all about open and open source, so where does open source actually fit? Well, in so. The app you know, uh, Google in, in various flavors uh, uh, breeds open source in lots of different projects. Um, for for uh, for App Engine, for example, uh, we just one of the big new things we added to to App Engine was was NDB, which is a uh, new Python language package for communicating with NoSQL that has been getting really good reviews. Which was built by um, Guido, who invented Python and who works on the App Engine team. Uh, we sometimes joke we support languages where we can hire the inventors of the languages. Um, and that's been getting very good reviews, and it's open source. Uh, in fact, we had a customer that was a little unhappy with, 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 with App Engine. We're going to try to get them back. They were a little unhappy, but they found it much easier to, to move to another provider because they could reuse NDB because it's open source. Well, thank you very much, Peter, for all this, and uh, the best of luck with App Engine. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.